the President of the United States. President, Congressman Rangel, Congressman Gilman, on behalf of the United States delegation to the International Conference and local government from the private sector that we particularly had a people who have the experience and the knowledge who are working in the field of drug abuse and drug trafficking control indicated important work of the conference itself. After a very brief uh, political contest for president of the conference, uh, we were able to start work almost immediately on the key issues. I believe that this conference makes a significant view here. The first, which you can use for weightlifting and other purposes, is the declaration of political will and also the comprehensive multidisciplinary outline of future activities, in other words, the action plan. And this is being taken to each of the countries that participated so that there will be a tangible representation in writing of what was accomplished at the conference. And perhaps more symbolically, we have for you and for Mrs. Reagan a T-shirt which represents the theme of the conference and which has the theme, no to drugs and yes to life. And so we hope that you will take that uh, one for yourself and one for Nancy uh, so that you can both have those symbols of uh, what will be worn, I'm sure, by a number of young people around the world uh, to symbolize what has gone on at this conference. So with that, Mr. President, we thank you for your support, and we appreciate very much the opportunity to serve you and to serve our country as delegates to this conference. Thank you. Thank you all. Good morning to all of you, and Ed, thank you for that encouraging report. These documents are a testament to the fine work and success of the U.S. delegation. I'm not surprised, however, because our delegation was composed of high-level officials and experts from all relevant agencies of the federal government. It also included experts from the state and local governments and the private sector all of whom are vital to our domestic successes in controlling drug abuse. But the important point is that you brought home real accomplishments, accomplishments that will make a difference in the years to come. On behalf of the American people, Nancy and I thank you for your contributions to this battle to save the youth of our country. An effort like this takes a, a great team, and a great team requires strong leadership. This delegation is an example of the best in both categories. You had that strong leadership in the Attorney General, who was head of the delegation, in Deputy Secretary of State John Whitehead, and in Ambassador Vernon Walters, our ambassador to the United Nations. And I'd also like to single out for thanks Ambassador Ann Robleski and Ambassador Bruce Chapman, both of whom worked for nearly two years on conference preparations and Dr. McDonald, head of the White House Drug Abuse Policy Office. I want to commend you on both your goals and your strategy. You have demonstrated that good planning and strong execution will lead to positive results in UN meetings. Dealing with 138 countries at once gives new meaning to the word complex. Yet your strategies for handling this situation showed the skill and the talent our country can bring to bear when we're fully committed. I understand that Vernon Walters called this perhaps the best UN conference he's seen in years, and with reason. This was the first time that the UN has held a conference on all aspects of drug abuse, including not only the problems of the users, but drug production and trafficking. And it's important to note that this was a very high-level meeting attended by representatives of ministerial rank. Well, the big news involves these two items. First, there was agreement that drug abuse is a global problem. 
You see, until this, argue, this conference, some had argued that drug abuse was only a problem of our wealthier industrialized nations, like our own. But now there's a widespread understanding that drug abuse affects people around the world, and that even in poorer nations, drug abuse poses a threat. For this reason, the Declaration of Political Will adopted by the conference confirms the commitment of 138 nations to take action in the fight against drugs. Second, the conference agreed to a long list of concrete practical steps all countries can take to make a difference. And as part of this effort to be practical, to go beyond discussions to action, negotiations have begun on the drafting of an international convention against drug trafficking, which will be a legally binding document. To all of you, that's a great deal to be proud of. Now there's just one more matter, matter that Nancy and I want to thank you for. We're especially pleased that you brought us these two shirts back from Vienna, and the logo, Yes to Life and No to Drugs, is a message we've conveyed at home. So now Nancy and I are proud to join you and the rest of the world. No to drugs and yes to life. So again, thank you all very much. Thank you and God bless you all. Some fellas bring flowers home to their wife, <laughs> not me. <laughs>